Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today we're gonna be talking about the Canon EOS R5, the camera that will change the world. Or that's how oh, YouTubers are making it seem and everybody's making it seem. So let, let, let's talk about this camera. So am I getting one? Yes. Am I excited? Yes. But let's let's slow down a bit, right? So let's go over a few key specs, right? That has the internet going crazy. 8K raw full frame video. 4K full frame 120. Dual card slots. 12 frames per second mechanical. 20 frames per second silent shooting. High megapixel sensor. Better battery. It's the ultimate camera from a spec perspective. And like I said, I am excited. I think there's certain things, I, I forgot IBIS, right? Canon is throwing the kitchen sink at this camera. It seems to have everything. Now, again, there hasn't necessarily been a formal announcement of all the details. So we don't know what the limitations will be. Will it be AK raw for five minutes, 10 minutes, right? Um, overall, we don't know the little details, but what we do know is this camera pretty much has it all. And it has the internet going crazy, as it should, right? Canon hasn't released a camera or a product like this in a very, very long time. The last time I did this was the Canon 5D Mark II, so it's been a while. But we can't forget that in the end, this camera, with all the specs in the world, will not make you a better photographer. It will not make you a better videographer. So let's slow down and talk about the Canon EOS R5. So I've made several videos about my Canon EOS R and for the last year and a half, the Canon EOS R has been my workhorse wedding camera as a wedding photographer. It's been my primary YouTube camera as a YouTuber. It's really done it all. Is there areas for improvement? Of course, right? The camera is not perfect. It doesn't have IBIS, but do I really need IBIS? Nah. Do I really need dual SD card slots? If I wanna be super safe, absolutely. So looking at the camera, there are areas of opportunity. There are areas to improve, just like with every product in the market. Does that mean that I can't produce high quality images, stunning images with this camera? Does it mean that just because it doesn't have IBIS, all of a sudden I can't shoot in the dark, I can't shoot at night? It's just a terrible camera? No, it doesn't. We, we, gotta, we gotta remember to take the specs out of the equation. A good photographer will be able to produce an amazing image with any camera. Now the reality is cameras are tools. So having IBIS, having dual memory card slots, being able to shoot at higher frames per second, all these things will make it easier for you to do your job. So what I'm trying to say is, yes, I am excited for these specs. Yes, I am excited for IBIS. Yes, I am excited for a high megapixel sensor with a new RF glass. But again, if you aren't producing high quality images with a Canon EOS R, with a 5D Mark IV, with a 5D Mark III, with a 6D, I guarantee you buying this camera won't change that. So keep that in mind. Cameras are tools. The EOS R5 and its amazing spec list will make our job easier, but it won't make you a better photographer. The second thing let's talk about, right? The Canon EOS R5 is gonna be like the flagship mirrorless camera. It's gonna be an expensive camera. There's no way Canon is gonna like outdo the 1DX Mark III in the spec department and not price it appropriately. This is where we get to rumors and speculation. I just don't see this camera being priced below $4,000. Uh, I see it starting at $4,000. If you look at the specs, it competes with the A9, A92. That I think is around $4,000 if I'm correct. I think it launched the original one at $4,400. So I see Canon sliding into that piece of the market. The memory cards, the EOS R5 is gonna use CF Express cards. Those aren't cheap cards. So overall, this system will have all the specs that everybody desires, but it's gonna come at a cost, right? Media won't be cheap. The camera won't be cheap. And the RF glass that people complain about being too expensive isn't cheap. Right, so buying into the system is gonna be a massive investment. Now what Canon's doing is they're also gonna release an R6, which should be announced here in the next few months. Now this camera, I feel is like the camera for the masses, right? 
more than likely you won't have 8K RAW. More than likely you'll have a lower resolution sensor. It's still gonna have dual media card slots. It's still gonna have some of the new features, but it just won't be the spec beast that the EOS R5 is, and it'll be priced at an appropriate level. I think this is the camera that should get more people excited. I see this camera as like the Sony a7 III, the camera that's affordable in the, in the full frame game that will provide the overall value. But the EOS R5 is gonna be in a different league and I don't see that being priced below $4,000. Now, I could be wrong there, right? But let's not forget that Canon's also releasing an R6, which in my opinion will be the go-to camera for most photographers. Because in reality, even though I'm getting the R5, and I'm getting the R5 and I'll say it right now, because I have a gear problem. I don't need it, I don't need a K-Raw, right? I'm shooting my YouTube videos perfectly fine with 4K on a cropped sensor right now with the EOS R, just fine. 8K isn't gonna improve my video quality, 8K isn't gonna do anything for me. There is a market for people where 8K will make their job easier, where they'll be able to recompose in post, right? But that's not the majority of people. The majority of people, I'm not even sure, the majority of people have a computer that can edit 8K raw. Hell, I don't even think my computer can do it, right? We're gonna find out. But again, I think we should just calm down and not lose sight that in order for us to improve as photographers and as videographers, we should be able to get the job done with almost any tool. And in the end, having a camera with better specs will facilitate that, but it won't make us better. So don't forget that. So that's my quick EOS R5 rant, perspective, and how I feel about it. So sorry it took so long. I think I just saw so many videos online that I just kind of got discouraged seeing everybody talk about it and seeing everybody just hype it up so much uh, that I just kind of sat on this, right? So overall, hopefully you enjoyed my thoughts. Please comment below, right? This is, again, this is my opinion. So more than glad to hear yours. As always, please like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.